Well guys, spring is almost here, at least it's here one day and then it goes. We had some days here, 60s, 70s. Yesterday it snowed, today it's in the 30s. Next week should be back to the 60s and 70s. But either way, we start that time of year. Water temp's probably gonna be getting up here in the 40s. I like my jerk bait. I love to use a jerk bait early in the year. I love the holographics. They're nice and easy to do. So today we're going to paint a holographic. Nice and simple. Just nice about these. Paint the bottom, paint the top, leave the sides alone. You got a lure that's going to catch some fish. So got a different color I want to try to do. So let's go over. We'll paint a holographic jerk bait. Here we go. Oops, there we go. Get a grip on that thing. All right. As I said, these are nice and simple jerk baits, top and bottom. Going to start out create text opaque white as always to get that base coat down just run a little bead right down the belly a little more right down there and nice thing is hang on because we're not doing the sides I got a little spot there anybody can you see that let's take a q-tip and we'll just get rid of it there we go all right top and bottom now let's do some colors. We will start on the belly, and I've got to admit, you're not going to see much change to begin with because I'm going to go with Createx Pearlized White. I know white is white, but to me the pearlized always has a little different look to it. So I liked, if I'm going to go white, I just didn't go pearlized white as flat white. That just me though. All right, that's all there was for that. Let me uh, clean up, we'll move on. Now, before we move to the back, I got one other thing I want to do up front. Createx Transparent Bright Red, and we're gonna put a little bit of red up front up here. That's it, well that was quick, wasn't it? That's all it takes, just a little shot. Now, this is transparent red, so if you want to put a little color on the side. The holographics will come through the transparent. It's not going to come through opaque colors, not very much, but the holographic can go through the transparent. Sometimes you might just put stripes or something if you want. Right now that's what we're doing. Let me clean that out and we can put the top color on. Now over time, I want to show you quick, I've done a lot of the bright colors. I've got a light blue with some yellow here. This one really worked for me really well the start of last year. Caught some with that. Uh, got your blue, but the holographs, but a lot of bright colors. And I thought, you know what, the closest one I have not is probably in here. And this is a purchased one I believe no I did this one I believe it's just a black but I thought you know what we've got a lot of one lake I go to has a lot of shad so get that out of the way with that in mind what we're going to do createx pearlized silver we're just going to go silver Just enough to cover that white. And it doesn't give you much, I understand that. But there we go. Pearlized silver on top. I got my pearlized white with a little red. If it's supposed to be a shad, should we put a spot on it? We can probably do that. Let me get a little black paint. We'll put a spot on this thing. All right, we're just going to take a little Createx Opaque Black. Let's just throw a little bit on that paper towel. Still got my Q-tip left from earlier. So let's just take that Q-tip and roll it in there to kind of get it to a point. Load it up some paint and we'll just kind of dab him there. Yeah, we got to get a little bigger than that. Bigger lure, there we go. Come around this side and we'll do it again. He 
You know what? Take a look at that. I don't like that. And here's a nice thing. We just wipe it off. Wipe that off. Hit it again. That will stick with. Didn't like that side either? Hey, no big deal. It's a nice thing of not having any paint on the side. There we go. Didn't like that side either. So where are we at? Right there. That looks a little better, don't it? That looks like an actual dot now. All right, there we go. Going to need some eyes and a top coat. Then we'll see where we stand. All right, let's get a top coat put on. And we're going to use Bob Smith Industry 30 Minutes Slow Cure. And we're a little cold here yet. So what I like to do is I put mine in some warm water. Bob Smith likes it. 70 degrees or better. And this room I don't heat up nearly as much as the rest of the house. So I just put it in some hot water for a little bit, warms it up, and gets it to last a whole lot longer that way. You not be in quite such a big hurry. All right. Now we're going to do this a little different. We, we got the holographic. We're going to see if we can gain on this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get the belly here. If we get a little bit up on the sides, that's okay. But the main thing I'm after is to make sure I got the belly covered. Hopefully get this where you can see it. Now it says 30 minutes slow cure, but I guarantee you, you don't have 30 minutes. Even when you warm it up. All right, got the belly. Now let's get on the head here. Cover those eyes good. That's kind of what helps hold those eyes into place. They have sticky on them, but to be fair, it's not the greatest sticky in the world. So, uh, the two-piece top coat really does help hold those eyes into place. All right, I've got the top done. I got the belly done. We still need to go over our holographic, but here's what we're going to do. Hang that up a second. I have there's two kinds of glitter I have. We're going to try to add a little. This is your real fine glitter. I use that quite a bit, and then I bought some of this. This is some real coarse stuff. So we're just going to put a little of that in there. Again, no measurements, no exact amounts. We'll stir that up just a little bit. And now what we're going to come back and do is just do the sides. We're just going to add to our holographics a little bit. See if we can make them even more holographic. But I really didn't care to have it on the belly or on the top. I thought the side's good enough. It's just kind of a way to take maybe what you'd call a, a cheaper holographic. doesn't have it. It's a holographic, but... Let's face it, there's some that are a whole lot better than others as far as how much shine you get out of the side. Well, maybe this is a way just to get a little more. Now, is the big flakes better than the small flakes? I don't know if they would be or not. You know what you could do? Look at those flakes, how big those things are. We could do a, uh, a lure someday. We want to do one in a rainbow trout. And here it is with a little purple. I bet you could put that on the side in your top coat and you get a rainbow trout effect. We might try that somewhere down the line. We'll see. All right. We're going to hang that up. We'll let that dry. And we'll see what we got. 
Well, there we go, guys. There is our shad jerk bait. I don't know, kind of a plain color in a little bit. Maybe that's why I put a little bit of that red to jazz it up just a little. Not what I normally use for a jerk bait, but we're going to see what it's like. We just need it to warm up a little. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.